Hello and welcome to my first ever coaster and uh, analyzing video. Today we are analyzing Falcon's Flight, which is the new roller coaster coming to Six Flags in uh, in Saudi Arabia. It'll be the tallest roller coaster, which at a rumored height of 654 feet. Um, this ride will feature a um, this ride will go 156 freaking miles per hour. Oh my god. That breaks the speed limit by a lot. And if it is actually um, 654 feet tall. Oh my gosh. Oh, also this part right now that you're seeing on the screen. Yeah, in real life that would have to be launched. But oh my gosh. 156 um, miles per hour. That is crazy. Oh my gosh. And right there that you're seeing on the screen, that is where you're reaching it when you're in that tunnel. Uh, I have seen a video where someone actually made the coaster. And oh my gosh. Someone made it in, um, in a video game. But oh my gosh. And... Look, see, as you're, uh, hold on just a second, but there's a tunnel right there, and as you're in, and as you get out of that tunnel, it looks like there's an airtime hill. That is probably going to give crazy ejector airtime. Oh my gosh. Just look at that again. Boom, crazy ejector. Oh my gosh. And it goes straight into a loop. Oh my god, that will be... Oh, also that ejector here will probably be the fastest airtime in the world. Sorry. Sorry, Cedar Fair, you don't hold it anymore. Six Flags took it from you. Also, speaking of the park it being a Six Flags park, it's actually not. It's a park made by a different company, but Six Flags is saying that they're going to work on it. Okay, so now we're going to go into a step-by-step -step analyzing session. Three, two, one, go. Okay, so it's gonna say the world's most extreme roller coaster. I do believe this is true. Okay, so you're gonna start heading up this lift hill, and in real life, this lift hill will probably be launched, or like a cable lift. It'll be a very fast lift hill, I'm assuming, because it's going up 400 feet. Uh, how can you go up 400 feet and not have it be a fast lift hill? I mean, come on, <laughs> who would do that? <laughs> We have like a super tall roller coaster and have it not use a fast lift tail. So once it goes up that launch, so then it's gonna go down the drop. That's not the fastest part, but then you're gonna go up a lift hill, not a lift hill, an airtime hill. That looks like it'll provide some great ejector airtime. There, it looks like this ride's gonna have some good positive g-forces, good negative g-forces, and good lateral g-forces. It's gonna have all the g-forces, and it looks good. There are some. It looks like on this ride that there are gonna be some great moments of ejector and floater, and a mix of both of them. It's like it's going too fast to be floater, but it's going too slow to be ejector. If I ride this, I'm probably going to love the airtime. Then it's gonna go over a massive camelback. As I've said before, there's going to be ejector and floater. That's probably going to be floater. And then another airtime hill. Oh my gosh, right. There's a lot of airtime on this ride. That looks more like both. Okay, and then right here where you see uh, that in real life would have to be launched. It could not make it up that using its current speed. And then this part has looks like it'll have some great lateral g-forces. It's not very banked. And then here's the part everyone's talking about. Look in the bottom right hand corner, it'll say speed 156 miles per hour. Oh my god, 156 miles per hour? That'll make it the fastest roller coaster by far. Oh my gosh. Formula Rosa, 149 miles per hour? Guess what? This beats you by 7 miles per hour. It doesn't sound like a lot, but it is a huge amount when you're talking about going that fast. Oh my god, oh my gosh, are you actually serious? Whoa! Who in the world decided to make us go 156 miles per hour? 
I won't tell you who the prince of uh, the area in Saudi Arabia that is being built at. He said we want the fastest roller coaster, the tallest fastest roller coaster in the world. Oh my gosh, this ride looks like it's going to be so amazing. You're going 156 miles per hour, what do you do after that? Oh, well, obviously you have a huge hill so that you can lose all that speed and then gain some back because 156 is kind of a lot. You go down that hill and you go through a turn. That turn would not be allowed in real life. That would be uh, too unbanked. And then look right here. As you're exiting, airtime hill. That's going to be the fastest airtime hill in the world. Let's rewind a bit. And fastest airtime in hill in the world. I am. Oh my God! The fastest airtime hill in the entire freaking world. Oh my gosh! Wow! Oh my God! This ride looks so so insane. And then you're going into an moment. Because the fastest, the tallest, fastest roller coaster in the world needs an inversion. Yes, if this ride didn't already have it all, now it has an inversion. It has it all. Oh my gosh. If you cannot tell, I think this is going to be the best roller coaster ever. Oh my god. Oh, okay. And then there's an overbank. Yeah, because the fastest roller coaster in the world needs a freaking overbank. Okay, okay. And then you go into an airtime hill, and there are some invisible brakes. This is going to use invisible brake technology. Just kidding, this is a rendering. But um, in real life, the layout might look a bit different than that. But if that is the exact layout, it's just they decided not to put in like a lift hill or a launch or whatever, then that looks like the best roller coaster in the world. I'm already saving up money so I can go to Saudi Arabia in 2023 to ride this single coaster okay so now some composed thoughts on this uh i heard a rumor that it's going to be over 650 feet i do not believe that i think if it's going to be anywhere over 600 feet it would be 601 i think it's probably going to be like 550 it's definitely not going to be like uh, um so to become a new type of roller coaster because we categorize roller coasters by 100s, we need to be 500 feet. It's definitely not going to be like, oh, let's be 600 feet. Uh, if it is 600 feet, it'll definitely keep that record for a long, long, long time, considering that King to Ka has, when this ride opens, King to Ka will have hold, held the record for like 15 years, and then this ride will take it from it. And so, and that just barely did, that just barely was taller than the last one. So if it was actually six. 100 feet, I wouldn't, I would expect there not to be a roller coaster taller until like 20, 20, 40 years, not 20, 40, 20, 30 years from this ride opening. Oh my, oh my gosh, I'm just like mind blown that they're actually building a roller coaster like this. But if you actually look, um, Safe Flags passed two attempts at going to, at making a park in another country haven't worked out so well. But this isn't actually being made by Six Flags. It just has the Six Flags name. Also, if you guys were wondering, this is not uh, this is not an upload on my regular upload schedule. This is just breaking news, so I thought I should uh, tell you guys about it. But there will still be a video on Thursday. Well, that'll be probably the Six Flags announcement for the 2020 season because they're announcing that tomorrow. So um, if you're interested in that, come back on Thursday, not tomorrow, oh, on Thursday, so I will, so enjoy your ride, I will see you in the next video, bye!